guys, so this is going to be the beginning of my birth vlog. Can't believe I'm saying that. It is Wednesday, August 21st. It's about quarter after 9 and I have to be at the hospital by 10, but we live really close so we'll leave here in about 20 minutes or so. My mom is here. She just got here about an hour and a half ago, so she will be with me and I can tell you guys now why I'm being induced and a lot of you guys guessed it yes my husband will be there um, we were told by his Navy dive school instructor that we weren't allowed to say that on social media ahead of time so that is why we didn't sometimes you don't know why you're not allowed to say things but you just go with the flow so that's what we did um, but now I can tell you guys because this video won't be out for a while so yes Xavian will get to be there and if you guys are new, because I know birth vlogs attract a lot of new viewers, my husband is in the Navy. He is currently going through Navy dive school. He's been gone for about five months, and we still have a few months left before he's home for good. But he does try to come home on the weekends, and they were generous enough to give him a couple days of leave so that he could take a long weekend, which is why I'm getting induced today. I am 39 weeks and two days today. They're not going to start the actual process until about 3 or 4 in the morning tomorrow, so on Thursday the 22nd. And he will be there hopefully between 2 and 5 p.m. So yeah, I am all packed up. I even have the bassinet all ready for her. It's crazy to think that the next time I walk in this house, it's going to be with the baby. Um, hopefully I can get some sleep tonight in the hospital. Definitely bringing my own pillow. It's already in the car because um, I know that the hospital pillows suck. So I'm not dilated at all. So <laughs> um, I had my last cervical check this afternoon, not dilated at all. So they are starting me off with, oh, I just forgot what it's called, Cytotech. They are starting me off with Cytotech, which is a pill that they insert vaginally and that is supposed to soften my cervix. Um, I might need two doses of that every four hours and we'll see where that gets me by tomorrow around lunchtime and hopefully I'll be dilated enough that they can insert a Foley bulb and maybe I won't need Pitocin. Are you ready to meet your little sister? You have no idea what's going on, do you? Are you ready? You ready for the baby? <laughs> Are you ready, Grandma? I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to be a big sister? Are you ready to meet your little sister? Yeah. Oh, my babies. Getting all checked in at the hospital. This is my super comfy bed. Tip, bring your own pillow. Hospital pillows suck. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good size room though. Yeah, it's huge. Apparently we have the best view. You can't tell right now. Can't see out there. No, all you see is my reflection. This is where baby girl's gonna go. Hi grandma. <laughs> Alright, it's about twelve fifteen. So it's technically Thursday, um, they just finished doing everything, going over the questions. I have a HEP lock, um, they already took the monitors off because Brindley is doing just fine and they're not going to do anything else until about 3 or 4 a.m. So I'm going to try to get some sleep, Mama's already working on it over there. And we just got done taking my 10k picture, I had some balloons blown up because as of yesterday morning, I hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So I just took a cute little picture in my bed with some 10K balloons. You guys can see that over on my Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some sleep and I will update you guys in a few hours. All right, it's about 5 a.m. Um, they just inserted the Cytotech. I don't know why I can't remember that word. Cytotech. I think that's what it's called, um, a little bit later than they planned, but my blood pressure has been really high out of nowhere. I don't know why, um, I don't feel 
like it's high. I don't feel the best because I have not slept, I don't think at all, um, which is going to throw off my blood pressure. And now that I know it's high, that's making me a little anxious, so. But they just inserted the Cytotech and they're going to check me in about four hours to see my progress and to see if that's doing anything. Hopefully my blood pressure will go down a little bit. I also have a bag just in case because I'm like super paranoid about being sick to my stomach out of nowhere because I've been on B6 and Unisom like my whole pregnancy and I couldn't take it last night so I'm like so afraid I'm gonna throw up but she said she'd give me Zofran if I start feeling really crappy but I will keep you guys updated all right it is um, 7 30 I'm just now starting to feel little baby contractions. They just feel like cramps coming and going. Not super uncomfortable yet. Um, blood pressure is still really, really high, but they don't seem too concerned about it. Um, I think it's just because I haven't slept. And yeah, they, they know that I have a history of hypertension, so they don't seem super worried about it. My mom left to go check on the doggies, let them out, feed them, give them some snuggles and kisses, and still waiting. Um, I think they're going to check me in about an hour and a half to see if the first round did anything. If not, we're going for round two of the Cytotech. Definitely having some contractions. I for sure felt that one that's like way up there. Getting a little painful. It's um, 8.25 now, so about 20 minutes ago they gave me, so here comes another one, second round of um, Cytotech. Y'all, I'm getting the epidural, I'm not even dilated yet, and these contractions hurt. What was I thinking? Not wanting an epidural. I'm getting that epidural. <laughs> Alright, I have a little bib because I'm eating some lunch. I'm probably going to get my teeth. It is 10 after 12. Um, I don't remember the last thing I said on here. They gave me Nubane, some kind of pain medication to help me sleep around 9.50 because my contractions were starting to get pretty intense at that point. Um, took about an hour-ish nap and then around 11.30 she checked me again. I'm still not dilated but a little bit more effaced. And they did a third round of uh, Cytotech. Feeling dizzy on and off. I think this medicine is just like giving me the shakes, making me feel a little weird. But feeling the contractions, not as intense as before, but feeling them and then trying to nap here and there. I feel like I'm, like am I looking straight? It's making me loopy. I don't know what Nubane is. Probably should have looked that up. She said my heart rate's good, Brinley's heart rate is good. I'm getting all kinds of messages from people telling me that today is National Rainbow Baby Day. I had no idea. It's so cool though, super appropriate. All right, I'm trying to get this in before another contraction comes because we're at that point. Um, it is 1.40. I am one centimeter dilated, finally. Only took like, what, two and a half weeks to make one centimeter. But um, I have a Foley ball bin. That was a little crazy. Um, it didn't even hurt that bad. Like, it was uncomfortable for sure. But I was shaking so hard. Like, my legs, I literally looked like I was having convulsions. And I had no control over it. And they said it was totally normal. It was just my hormones surging and going crazy. Because they were putting me into labor, basically. But I was shaking so, so hard, and I kept having to, like, take breaks and stop so they could finish putting the Foley bulb in me. Um, got it in. Um, it was messy. It was uncomfortable, but it's in. And now we just wait to see how far that can dilate me. Um, I can get my epidural at any time, which I definitely think I'm going to get. But I'm going to see how long I can go, because they have fluids ready for me right there so it's not like it's going to take a long long time um, for the process to get going as soon as I tell them I want it they're going to start the fluids so 
here comes another contraction, so I'm going to get off. And Xavier should be here within like a half hour. So, things are happening. Okay, it is 3.20. Guess who's here? Say hi, Daddy. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm happy because I got an epidural. And I don't care. <laughs> um, it was getting pretty intense. I was tearing up and tensing up and shaking. And the lady who did my epidural was amazing. Like, I've heard so many horror stories about epidurals. It barely hurt. It hurt for like two seconds. It was a very good experience. Um, I'm getting like my left leg is really warm and my right leg isn't so I think they're gonna have me roll to my right side here in a minute and I'm just getting my blood pressure taken continuously. It's doing better. It's still kind of high. My camera's shaking because I'm still shaking. I look lovely too. Oh well. But yeah, did I see what time it is? 3.20? And I don't know how far I've progressed yet. She's going to come back in here in a second and um, give me my catheter and check to see how the Foley bulb is doing and check to see how dilated I am. So, I might have a baby in the next couple hours. How do you feel about that? <laughs> so they just broke my water. It's almost 5 o'clock and I'm like 5 or 6 centimeters dilated so that was quick. I got the shakes really bad because I'm anxious, but I feel like she's going to be here in like maybe two hours. What do you think? Mm. Let's guess I time. I think 7.05 p.m. 8.30. No. 8.30. You said 7.05? I said about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to go that much longer. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so it's like seven hours later. It's 2.16. Oh, I almost said April. August 23rd. And it's been a crazy seven hours. At like 8.45, she checked me. There was no change. So she turned the Pitocin all the way up to 20. And then my contractions were like not as consistent as they were before. So they gave me more of that new vein because I started feeling, I don't know if I'm even going in order with this, I don't even remember. I started feeling contractions through my epidural or pressure so they gave me some more new vein because I couldn't stop shaking and they wanted me to sleep. So I didn't sleep but I did rest and then what? they, no, they what cut the, the Pitocin in half and started it back up by 2. So they went back down to 10 and then went 12, 14, 16. And that seemed to do it because I'm like 7 to 8 centimeters now. And she's so low and so much pressure in my butt. So. Now I think she might be coming. Take <laughs> deep breath in. Chin to your chest. Push. Down. Mm -hmm. push. Good. Two. Good. Good. Three. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Awesome. Seven. Eight. Killing it. Nine. Ten. Good job. Do it again. We're going to do two, three sets total. And on, push. Hard, two. Hard, hard, hard. Three. Four. Awesome. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One oh. more. You can oh. do that. One more. Take deep breath. Chin to your chest. And push. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Good job, baby. Come on, Erica, just like that, just like that. Keep it coming, keep it coming until you need a breath. <sighs> and push again. Mm, good job. Three, okay, good, good, four, good. five, good. six, seven, mm. eight, nine, ten. Out. Do we good? Yep. yep. Two. Come three, on. Four, a little bit more. Five, good. six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, oh. good job. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Big deep breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. And push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. She's got my nose, dude. She definitely got my nose. Nice and wide and fat. Uh, uh, pretty sure it's mine. Good. I don't like my chin. I mean, I don't know right now, but it's... I don't know. Hello, guys. It is Brinley's birthday today. It's Friday, right? Today's Friday? It is Friday. Okay. <laughs> Friday, August 23rd. Brinley was born at 423 this morning. It is now... 2:10, and it's been a long day but 
It's been a great day, our sweet, healthy baby girl. It's funny how I really thought I was going to um, be doing my makeup and stuff, and this is from Wednesday morning. <laughs> I so don't care. I finally washed my face and I didn't put any other makeup on and it's fine. Um, but yeah, our baby girl is healthy. She is here. She was a tiny six pounds, four ounces. She was 19 and a half inches long and I'll show you guys to her here in just a second.